Hello and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Bingo. This is the last but not the least of the seats for this week's Minecraft Bingo Seed Challenges. This is seed 371604 and it's a practice seat. But as always, we're not practicing anything because practice is for chumps. Instead, we are uh, diving in blind and trying to get a blackout as fast as possible um, with the gore. Well, I guess, yeah, you know, the gore is sub 20 or whatever. <laughs> ah. And this is the card. I think there was a chunk in your spawn and the rest was like normal stuff. So not too important, I believe. But let's, let's have a look. Um, that's 10. That's not a lot of iron on this card. Uh, 10, 17, 19, 22. I think that's it. Am I missing some hidden iron somewhere? No, 22 iron, uh, two chests. We need um, three gold. Yeah, it has a very strange card. Three gold, three redstone, hmm. three diamonds, an emerald, and uh, no lapis. No, there's lapis. I always miss the purple die when it's on a card at first. Cyan always sticks out to me, but purple I just glance over. I don't know. So lapis, emerald, three redstone, three diamonds, three gold, 22 iron. So weird caving you know, shopping list for us here, but we'll, we'll make it work. Uh, we need one ink sack. At least I don't see a second one on the bone. Um, a name tag, which I hate. But, you know, what can you do? We need the glass, but not the clay. We need a fern, which you can get from that chunker or, you know, some other place, I'm sure. Um, a cactus green and the you know, second bone meal there. Pumpkin seeds, we need the mushrooms. Uh, spider eye, so we need a second brown mushroom and we need some sugar here. We need to fish and yeah, so we want all the spider drops. We want one gunpowder, one flint, the cookie and the melon. Uh, so that should be fine though, because we saw the chunk already in the video. We need an egg, we need a boar, two chests, and then a pearl, uh, red flower, cook to stone. It seems like a weird, yeah, it's a weird setup, <laughs> it feels like. I don't know. Um, I mean, so yeah, we want. I guess we go, we definitely want to visit the Chunger, uh, they want for the Chunger stuff, maybe find a pumpkin. Uh, obviously we're looking for dungeons. I think I heard a bunch of zombie sounds in the announcement video at spawn. So there should be, or there could be a dungeon there. Um, I'm not sure how we're getting the emerald yet. We'll, we'll wait and see. Uh, find a chicken, get an enderpearl at night, that kind of thing. Let's hop in and see how it goes. Might not go well. <laughs> I feel like the point seed um, was a very lucky run. Yeah, there's definitely a spawner here. Uh, so that's good. Potentially, at least. Oh, there's also a village. Did I know about that village? I don't think I did. There's a blacksmith, too. Uh, now I'm wondering. There's a melon right there, too. Uh, straight west. I mean, if you get the name tag and the pumpkin seeds and then an emerald and maybe diamonds or something from the village, then we go and get the wheat as well. You could have a very good first day. I guess it all depends on the mob drops then, the spider stuff and the uh, ender pearl. But yeah, we could get a lot of stuff here. Very easily. I'm wondering if I should even do the dungeon now. I think I have to, though. Just based on the fact that I want to trade for the emerald and I have literally nothing. <laughs> uh, which means I need to get stuff. And in the dungeon chest, I could get some. Oh, I don't know. Actually, it's unlikely that I get enough for a trade. We might get lucky and be able to pull off like a wheat trade at the village. I don't know that there's enough time. Well, I guess we'll see. I mean, like two or three big coal veins are enough for trade if there's a blacksmith. Like not a blacksmith house, but a blacksmith guy. <laughs> it is probably kind of slow to go down here, but there's iron. Oh, that's a fair bit of it, even. So there's a skeleton and some flowing water. Do you want to cook here? I don't think we do. I think we want to cook at the dungeon, because that's going to take a while to tackle, I'm sure, because we don't have torches or anything. 
Um, so we're gonna cook our iron, dig down to the dungeon, loot the dungeon, hope for string, gunpowder, um, name tag, pumpkin seeds, some iron, some gourd, some redstone, uh, and all of that in that, in that one dungeon, right? I mean, that definitely is going to happen, right? Right. I think I do want some food as well. But this might... Ah, but pork is also a good trade item. But only raw, not cooked. So where does zombie noise is at? There's no way this is not a dungeon. There were zombie sounds in the video, there were zombie sounds when I spawned, and then there are zombie sounds again right here, right now. Uh, it's two dungeons, three dungeons, four dungeons, lots of dungeons. I'm overwhelmed already. Okay, I guess we cook some food now. Uh, Okay, there's a good amount of stuff here. Can I get to that somehow? Ah, stupid water. Let's do this one first, because we definitely haven't spawned much in here yet. We have spawned some stuff now, which is not great. I hate this. Don't need this, right? No. Okay. Bye, guy. I don't care about you all that much. Uh, next up. This is a very weird sort. Very reminiscent of... Actually, the point seat of the three dungeons. Right where I first set down my stuff to craft. Um... Yeah, this is this just feels weird. So that one was open, and this one is closed off. This one is definitely zombies because they see one stick out, and then this one was like open. It's also zombies. Okay. So chicken chockies don't lay eggs. Forgot about that last week. There's something they changed because it caused an incredible lag because zombies would pick up the eggs and then never despawn. So caves would get very overrun. Which is not great, obviously. Uh, sure, I, I don't know what I need. Let's just check this one as well because it's right here. It might be easy to grab stuff out of it. Well, there's at least a chest here. But now, well, yeah, they can all work out. Great. This was not very, very smart. And this is something I could have prevented. For sure. Oh, that's another dungeon. What is with these caves? <laughs> this is, okay, this is still a lot in here. Okay, I'm not a fan of this anymore. It's too scary now. It's probably also not worth it because I already have the name tag and most of the other stuff. It's mostly about like uh, food, I guess. Maybe? I mean, golden uppers are good, gold, redstone, iron. Ah, oh, there's one more guy in here, really? Go away. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll take all of this. And then this, this, this. And then 
Uh, one, two, three. Definitely want to cook those. And is there anything else I can cook? I don't see anything right now. But there's one, one more dungeon, of course. There's also zombies. There are zombie dungeons, I think. Which seems insane to me. I don't need that gunpowder. Uh, I do need this. I don't need it, need it, but I want it. I think that's it for potential trade items too. Let's just leave. We should be good, I think, for most cases of uh, trades. We are very deep into day one. This might be overkill, but I want to be sure that I can trade. So we'll grab the core as well. We have the string and we have something else. Wheat, probably. Yeah, with bones and wheat. Twenty-seven is definitely going to be enough. I think it's definitely enough. It might be most likely enough, and not definitely, but you know, same thing. <laughs> uh, iron cover is only twenty-two, and we're already at fourteen, seventeen. So if you grab this, I think we're good. Which is very strange. Ugh, that was not smart. It is what I did. I should probably kill this chicken just so I don't confuse it for a chicken that can give me an egg later. But too late for that. And we only have three items, but we have so much stuff set up already. Actually, we can get a very quick fish here. Like this. Not very nice, we could have fished as well, but I think this is faster. It felt very fast at least. Okay, uh, I do have the beat already, right? Yeah, I yeah, have 10, that's enough. I just need a quick trade here. Uh, 12 letter, no. There we go, Fletcher, perfect. Uh, brought this. Do I need anything else from here? I'll take the three furnaces. Uh, this, yeah, we could have done this too. And I guess I'll take. Also, yeah, let's get rid of this stuff. We don't need an Epper, I think, but we'll take it anyway because why not? I'm asking, why not? Uh, I feel like we're done with iron. <laughs> I'm not sure it's true, but we're very close at the very least. We should, yeah, we definitely, we are done with chunks stuff. We've seen the melon, we know where it is. We just need to go and grab it. Uh, it's mostly about an ender pearl now, and then the diamonds, and an egg still. Ah, yeah, the egg. If only we could have had some chickens spawn with us here. It would have been golden, but no. But no. Is there already a zombie in there? It's like 9.50. It's not that dark yet. Very rude of you to spawn already. I mean, it might be a quicker melon, but we'll just head towards the melon that we know exists. Uh, we do need wool, but we have to string to make it, so I'm not going to worry about that. That's somewhat scary. <laughs> Running over the leaves. Uh, I guess brought this and this. Yeah, this is very bad inventory already. Very bad. Uh, okay. <laughs> what a strange run indeed. Okay, we need to cook the glass and kill an enderman. There's another village? What? <laughs> what is with these runs? I mean, seriously, this is not normal. Sounds like there's another spawner, but we don't need it. We definitely don't. Could give us some easy gourds or something. The village, if it has a blacksmith, could give us diamonds. So in that sense, it's probably worth checking out. Also, wow, that was easy too. Uh, throw away this. We need mushrooms now. I think that's like a high priority item. What can I even throw out? <laughs> How do we have so much inventory? Without all the bad items, like there's no cake or anything. How how's my inventory so bad? We do need an ink sack. Uh, 
There we go. So we need a desert for the cactus green. Cook some stuff. There is a blacksmith. I hear, I hear an enderman. We should really focus on that first. Uh, our axe is about to break though, which is not good. I'm pretty sure I heard an enemy here. But I don't see one. Was it on the ground? Who knows? Um, we almost have no wood because we haven't really been doing anything. <laughs> On the surface, other than yeah, this is such a weird run. This feels so wrong. This is not how Bingo plays usually, at all. This is where I heard or thought I heard an enemy. Nothing. Okay. Fair enough. I guess. Mushrooms is something we need still. And we need a fern. Forgot about that. There are ferns everywhere here, which should be good. Enderman. What do we need from the surface other than the mushrooms? A cactus green? Yeah, cactus green. We have the spider eye. We just don't have the mushrooms yet. Craft them to, or craft it into a fermented spider eye. This should have been a much better pace than it is. I'm just, I'm not making anything happen here. Like everything so far is just the seed. I've done nothing basically. I've just been, you know, looting chests and running around. Oh yeah, an egg. We need an egg. Ah. I don't think I've seen a chicken yet. Yes, I'm pretty sure I haven't. Other than the one in the cave that wasn't real. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know what to do, really. I guess find a chicken, go on the ground as soon as we have the mushrooms and the cactus green. Have I seen any mushrooms yet? What's going on with this run? I don't need the pumpkins anymore. <laughs> this run feels like broken. I don't know why. Nothing seems right. Two villages and like 17 dungeons right next to spawn is just too strange for me. Did aggro that guy, he should be teleporting any second. There he goes. Ah. Of course, the run with all the all the structures, all the dungeons, all the loot in the world is not the one where you get an easy ender pearl. I don't need any mobs other than and the men. So the game is spawning all the mobs except and the men. That? I think that's gotten just hit that spider, right? A weird shot. Yeah, this should be a fast run, and it's definitely not a fast run. And I don't know, I don't know what to do about it. We can craft like two items or something. And the mushrooms should be easy, but they're not because I, I don't think I've seen a single one. Or maybe I've just not been looking enough. Uh, but most importantly, there are no endermen again. We've seen one. Maybe I heard one. I'm not sure if I actually did or just yeah, imagine that though. And I still need diamonds, the chicken, the mushrooms. There's too much stuff. I think. For this to work out, and it, we, yeah, we, I mean, you can craft. Well, we can craft more stuff. You can craft almost all the iron stuff. So 
Just need some mushrooms now. I mean, this is probably good for mushrooms, but they'll be day. They'll be they'll be there during the day. Whereas Enderman can only find right now. Maybe I should be gambling and, and hoping for an enemy in a cave, but I, I've, I've tried kind of in some runs that didn't go anywhere. Um, and yeah, cave, cave enemy are pretty rare. <laughs> I mean, you do have me have a big open cave, but you, you, the thing is, I think it's maybe not even that enemy are rare in caves, it's just that caves are rare. I think that's the problem with, with the, the cave enemy strategy. <laughs> Also, usually all the caves are just full of <laughs> skeletons for me anyway. Um, but that was a good, you know, two endermen I don't mind. That's fine. That's completely fair. I'll accept that any day. I don't see any mushrooms here, even though this is like swamp next to a roofed forest, which is like a mushroom forest basically, but you know. Can't have everything, I guess. I don't think we've cooked this stuff yet, and we definitely have not cooked this yet because it's uncooked in my inventory <laughs> uh, this is so weird okay uh, set down this and cook this also definitely set down this and now look for mushrooms I guess I just need more tree okay there's at least two brown and there's a bit of a cave here too which is good Potentially. I don't think I can go on the ground without a red mushroom. Red mushrooms are also something you can get in caves, but you don't usually. Um. It's like the thing you find lots of in caves when you don't need it. Just like cave endermen, really, are always very prevalent when, you know, you already got the pearl or there's no pearl on the card. Um. I do need to update the card as well. I definitely do need to chop some trees. All of those things are 100% and undoubtedly true. But I also really want to craft some stuff just to get rid of some stuff and also to get our score up a bit so that I can feel a bit better about our pace. Um, yeah, let's grab a tree. So you now we're at 18. Oh yeah, we have no chicken. That's why I can't go caving. I keep forgetting about the egg in this run. It feels like there shouldn't be one. It's just like a weird item that should not should not be on the card, if you ask me. Because everything else is so good about this, this run. It's gonna get ruined by the existence of the egg on it. Because now, I mean, we're missing what? Gold, mushroom, diamond, lapis, and an egg. So you should go caving, but you can't. Really. That's unfortunate. Okay, find a red mushroom, find a chicken, take it on the ground. You know, it's take your chicken to work day, for sure, and then uh, just hope for a good cave. And things will be fine. Uh, what do red mush mushrooms look like again? Who remembers? I've not seen one ever, it feels like. There they are. Just need to complain. As always, that works. Got it, okay. So that puts us at an amazing 20, and now we need, what, two gourd items, one diamond item, and what else? Another dungeon. You could have gold in it. <laughs> I wish you could have eggs in it. Because we found about five dungeons and zero chickens, so clearly, you know, chickens are the real thing, not dungeons. Is this worth it? It probably isn't. We got a cave in the that we don't need, so it exists. Uh, yeah, 
Yeah, there's nothing good in there. Uh, I, yeah, this is stupid. Let's leave. And find some chickens. I don't know why, if I even do that. There's basically no way. I mean, it could have given us the gold, which... If it had given us the gold, maybe we would have like saved some time. Because we could have we've had ingots instead of having to smelt. That's another dungeon. <laughs> What's with this area in dungeons? There's three zombies, so I'm very sure it was another dungeon. There's another chunker. Man. Did I leave my boat? I guess I did. This is one of the weirdest runs I've ever done. I, I, I feel like I say that more often than I should probably, but it, it, it always feels stir chickens. Uh, it definitely feels like a true statement. This is just so weird. Can you really disagree with me on this? This feels like a very good... Don't take damage, stupid chicken. I don't know how they do that. I guess they jump a bit higher than the block and then they're, they're up there and they take some damage. Do I have any seeds? Don't take damage. You're so stupid. I want to take all our chickens with me because of the randomness factor. Like a chicken egg timer thing is between 5 and 10 minutes, so... While one chicken could screw us, I feel like three chickens are very likely going to give us what we need. Within a certain time limit or whatever. I'm not sure what I'm saying. This is very frustrating, by the way. Two chickens it is. Also, I feel like we're gonna hit a cave way too soon here for it to be good. How do I have so much extra iron? Did I overshoot at the beginning? I guess I looted on top of mining and that always messes up the count. So I want to go at least into the 20s before we hit a cave here. That's really not what I wanted at all. It's quite the opposite of what I wanted. Well, there's gold here though. That is something I want. I guess the chickens are safe here. <laughs> How can I not aim at that block? Ridiculous. There we go. Okay, they're fighting, that's fine. There could have been gold in the chest or something. Let's just cook this. Um, also eat some food maybe. There's more gold, we're good. This cave looks promising at the least. That's nice. Um, I feel I feel weird about this run still, um, but yeah, let's let's not get hung up on that too much. I feel like I've been f focusing too much on how weird everything is, and not enough on getting items. You know, it's not a cave enderman because I told you that they are very rare. <laughs> What's with this? There's another dungeon. <laughs> it's making me mad. Because I just know I won't be able to find any dungeons at all in the coming runs. Just to pay back the dungeon frequency we are encountering here. So we need diamonds and lapis. And then we're basically good. I'd really like to find at least one of those blue rocks in this cave here. And then grab an egg and then just start our adventure looking for the second blue rock. Obviously I would take, you know, both blue rocks as well. I mean, you know. I'm not complaining about it. Good luck, usually. I, even though I guess you could argue that that's what I'm kind of doing. 
in complaining about all these dungeons, but they're really not good luck anymore. It's just annoying because uh, they're, they're dangerous. Um, wait, where's my way back? It's right here. <laughs> I guess you just craft now because I don't know what else to do. That's another dungeon right there. What is going on? I mean, I know we're playing with many dungeons, but... It's basically infinite dungeons here. Um, I think I want to secure my chickens now, maybe. Yeah, okay, they're fine up here. Anything good in the chests? Ah, oh, lots of good stuff, but nothing. We need nothing here. Okay, so what are we needing? Lapis, diamond, and egg. Yes, okay. Okay. Um, is there still, still a skeleton out here somewhere? Oh, uh, lots of skeletons here, of course. Two of them are fighting each other. One is fighting me, I think, or trying to at least. So this cave is not quite as good as I thought it would be. Um, and the thing is, we're kind of tied to this spot still because of the chickens. Which is not the best ever. But, you know, what can you do? We're still doing very well. Um, Comparatively speaking, but all right, we should really make some sticks. Very low on wood. <laughs> uh, let's make an make an iron axe, I guess, and then pick up this. And there's an egg, two eggs. Even they both laid at the same time because I told you about the inconsistency in the leg a egg laying, not leg aing. Um, so obviously they had to lay their eggs at the exact same moment to disprove that right away. Make me look like a fool. And you know what? There's another dungeon. Of course there is. Um, I think this is still our lapis lever basically, so... Should be fine. Eh, it's kind of, kind of, kind of getting away from that. I guess we just go digging now. Wait, where was the way down? There was a way down to the left right here, I think. Right? Yes. Um. Wow, that was a very annoying hit by that skeleton from way too far. How? You don't see me. How do you turn the corner and already shoot me? I hate you in particular. The bad skeleton. All right. Now I guess we just dig. You know, I hate digging. I have a passion. But what can I do? I mean, you know, maybe. Maybe that Shanger we saw, the second one had a temper in it. And I could've given could have given us some, some diamonds or something. And I guess you could trade for lapis. <laughs> but I, don't, I really don't know who unlocks that. I'm gonna guess it's the Yeah, it might actually be the 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 paper guy, right? It would make sense. Enchanted books and lapis for enchantment stuff. But I don't know. I just remember that when they added lapis to enchanting, they added a way to get infinite lapis via trading. Make it a renewable resource, basically. I feel like we should have seen Bond Blue Rock. Hope you're with me on that, but this is a nice ish cave and it's very very devoid of blue a lot of red and black and gray but no no blue 
What's up with that? And obviously, yeah, for Lapis, you would like to be um, a few levels high up. But since we need the diamonds as well, we're kind of, yeah, once again, forced to do this. I also feel like we should have had a diamond from the villagers. We had two blacksmith's chests, and uh, I feel like I deserve some diamonds. I, I, I mean, maybe I'm just misremembering, but I don't, off the top of my head, remember a village just giving me diamonds and bingo. I mean, it, it has happened for sure, but I mean recently. This looks very much like it's gonna end in heartbreak, this diamond vein right here. Come on, come on. Okay. Not quite heartbreak. So <laughs> I'm very glad. And now we just need lapis, which for some reason is impossible to find here. There should be lapis already. There it is. And we put it together for a solid time of 3310. It feels like um, the early game had the making of an excellent run here, and then it just. I didn't really notice it as I went along, but it, it was falling apart rather quickly. And I guess, I mean, falling apart is, is you know, maybe oversitting a bit, because 33 is still a pretty good time. It just feels like with that start, you know, all dungeon items done, and the emerald, and then you have there's so many dungeons. Where are these caves when all I need at the, at the end is a name tag? <laughs> these caves do not exist. I've seen so many dungeons in these last two seats. This is this is not normal. There's no way this is normal. I've always felt like, I think, yeah, the option is many dungeons, but I always felt like it should be named, you know, a few more dungeons, <laughs> a couple more dungeons. Uh, but these last you see, there have been there have been many dungeons. I mean, look at this. There's another cluster of three. That's just crazy. Where did we come from? There's another cave in there, by the way. Uh, but I guess, yeah, we had a good cave here. So then, I mean, if you find a cave like this, I'm comfortable maybe gambling. If I know I have a cave like this, I'm comfortable gambling on maybe getting an ender pearl on the ground. But very rarely do you get, you know, a cave this good. We have three dungeons right here. That's crazy. So what went wrong? Nothing really. I don't really know. Um, I feel like day one was very strange because we spent so much time with the dungeons and village stuff. But I also got all the iron done, so I can't really be too mad about it. Like our caving, if you have a really good cave, you just drop down, mine diamonds, mine lapis, mine three gold, bingo, or blackout, I should say. Um, so I can't really be too mad about that day one. I mean, the pace was bad. The pace was bad because we didn't craft any iron items, even though we could have. I mean, yeah, two villages right next to spawn, that's... That's insane. So close to each other. I wonder if there's a third one this way. <laughs> Let's see the world pop in. Maybe maybe, maybe there's a third one. Maybe that would have been the, the golden ticket one. The one with the diamonds. Nah. Doesn't look like it. That's good at least. Also, no, there's a temper. But yeah, I mean, I mean, in hindsight, sure, you could make some different decisions. Um, but in 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 the moment, there, I don't, I don't know. How did I not see that village? I guess I saw this village, and then I didn't really look that way again. Maybe. But yeah, we had 
so many dungeons. Was it four dungeons here or three dungeons here? One, two. It was four. Four that we found. <laughs> I might have been, yeah, there's another one here. But that's four dungeons right away. It's so crazy. Maybe leave behind. I was wondering if I left anything good because there was just there was too much. Oh, and of course, I mean, the run where we have like beetroot seeds in like several chests and two villages close to spawn, there are just no beetroot soup on the card. So many saddles, too. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. And then, yeah, I really don't know how, how else to really tackle this. I, I, I mean, I, I didn't think I'd find four dungeons. I was sure there was one before we even got going because of the zombie sounds in the in the seed video. I'm, I'm pretty sure everyone's gonna find this dungeon and then therefore at least also this one because yeah you can't miss that and this is hard to miss as well then once you're over here it's also pretty hard to miss this one so lots of people might find I mean not not yeah there won't be lots of people playing this I guess but it's hard to miss those dungeons it's impossible to miss the village basically or both villages be hard pressed to miss you know both of them so the emerald is not going to be a problem. The wheat is not going to be a problem for the cookie. Uh, there is a huge melon patch in that jungle that's visible from the skybox as well. At least with enough render distance it is. Would have been a red mushroom in this village. So yeah, I, I neglected the, the mushrooms a bit at the beginning. I'm not sure if I... I guess, the, yeah, there was a red one in here, but I didn't see it. And then I did, like, skip through here, right? And up here, the melons. Then you can't really skip that village because there could be diamonds. And even if it's just one diamond, it could be the difference. You know, that diamond vein down there could have been just two. Um, and then one diamond could be the difference between another 10 minutes looking for diamonds or having enough for an axe right there. So I don't feel too bad about that. Uh, and then, and then you know, moving was right. Um, I mean, it would have been nice to just go caving, but we needed yeah, mushrooms, chickens, and an ender pearl and the desert stuff. Well, desert stuff was really just one cactus green, but still. Um, so I think moving was the right car, and then things just played out the way they did. I don't know. It feels crazy to me that um, I'm getting this like slightly above average run out of four dungeons and two villages at spawn, but I, I really don't see much I could have done differently. And I, I mean, I didn't even mention I, I was prepared to maybe gamble on the end of the ground, but when you're still looking for chickens, I mean, there's no... Yeah, I can't go caving. <laughs> I have to find chickens first. Did I miss these chickens? I'm not sure where I am now. It's another village. <laughs> That's not the way I went, I guess. Oh yeah, I went this way, so I didn't see those chickens there, I guess. And then, yeah, I stopped here, and then I went landing. This cave looked very good to me, I see if it would have been any good at all. It looked like uh, intersected. Yeah, no, it would have been crap. Ah. Recently, yeah, my, my, my cave feelings have been very good, but the more dungeons. But yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm I'm not unhappy. Uh, 33 is good. Good time. It's it's still yeah. I understand, like, intellectually, rationally, I understand how this run wasn't great. But emotionally, <laughs> or uh, yeah, yeah, feeling wise, you know, with the start that we had, I can't help but feel like we should have done better. But I, I, I don't see much potential for that, honestly. So this is it. Um, we'll, go, we'll go back home. We'll end this run. Uh, and this concludes the seed challenges for the week. We did. Ah, no, we, I'm, I'm happy. Um, we had one really good five in a row and one good one. And then uh, the point seed was fun with 24, even though I don't feel like I did much in that. Much like a start here, it was just like autopilot. This, it feels like there was no other way for those, both the point seed and the seed to play out. 
and it feels like my contribution was minimal. Like I, I didn't screw up. I didn't die or like deliberately go the wrong way, I guess. But <laughs> beyond that, I feel like I was just along for the ride in those two. And um, I don't know, but I, I yeah, <laughs> that's fine too. And uh, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you soon with more Minecraft Bingo. Also, really, we should have made armor. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. Bye-bye.